So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for a very supportive uh, Dying Light 2 second stream. So far, my opinions on the game are mixed. Not gonna lie. There's some things that are fun and some things that just seem very basic, tedious, and not very fun. I mean, I am early on in the game, but that begs the question, why do I have to wait so long to get to the stuff that feels more fun, right? I, I guess we'll have to see. I think I need upgrades and stuff. Now it's night. I don't know if I'm going to want to do anything at night, but I need to get my health back. Let's uh, trade in the quest. Get my request rewards for this. The worst thing was they took all the equipment. Don't make me laugh. Hey, give me a break, man. It's not a big deal. Here we go. Aiden! Trying to get a fix. Uh, what's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Water from the supplier was tainted. Julian is there innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bizarre Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> that scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster. Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Nah. Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. <clears throat> okay. So, combat experience. Okay, I got a stinky pipe, weapon, and a military med kit. Now there's a new mission. Meet Hakan. Oh, he's outside. That's the next story mission. Okay. I invite you to browse. So, an anonymous tipper tipped me five dollars that I was waiting for your playthrough to decide if I was going to buy the game, and I might wait now. Well. Again, now I'm about five hours into it. We got one more hour left on today's stream, by the way. I'm about five hours into it. And, you know, I'm looking at, I still can't upgrade. I just did, no lie, I just did, what, two, three side missions in a row? And they didn't even give me enough experience to level up once. Wow. Um. <laughs> let's see here. So you give me a stinky pipe, which looks like it's actually... A good weapon. It, wow, look at the damage. It's actually an incredibly good weapon. Um, how do I actively use this weapon? Do I do this? The stinky pipe. There you go. Now, I need to buy mushrooms. Does he sell them? Uh, immunity? Generates a substantial part of your immunity. So I guess this would be the same as the mushrooms. But I only have enough gold to buy one. I've, I've been playing for five hours. I only have a hundred gold. How do I... What do I do? Do I sell shit? Sell. Do I want to sell stuff? Uh... What would I sell? Exactly. I don't really have anything to sell. Right? Gear? Is this the gear I'm using? Goods? Unique valuables? Is that what I sell? Am I selling the unique valuables? Oh, here we go. Sell all valuables. Why? I just made 15 or 1400 gold. Okay. So now I have money. <laughs> okay. Now... Sells a lot of stuff. He sells a glaive that's 36 damage. A UV bar. Creates an area of UV light that will repel infected and it only lasts, it lasts four minutes. I guess I should buy some immunity boosters because I don't have any, right? And I can't craft those. So I should probably buy a few. Hello, Jasper Kitty. You want some pets? You've been a pretty good kitty today, Jasper. For your first day being in the office... During the stream, you haven't been so bad. He's licking my toes now. Oh, uh, I will buy... How about I buy... Oh, he only has two. I guess I'll buy the two. 
Okay. Yeah, I would say the experience is definitely mixed. It seems like it's very overly complicated, and it kind of takes away the fun factor. When there's a million systems in place, I don't even understand. Like, when did the game ever say, oh, earn valuables and sell them to make a lot of money, and then you can use it to do... It's never explained. It's just, oh, just figure it out. Well, haven't seen my kids I did a three-hour tutorial, and it seems like you didn't teach me the things I needed to know. You wasted my time for three hours, right? All right, I guess what we're going to do, we're going to continue on with the story now. I guess he's Looking outside. Thrill, aren't you? Better keep a close eye on your biomarker if you're on a night run. Fuck me. People will he's this way. Complain. All right, I guess I should climb the building. <laughs> All right. Your boy Lem says, but you sold things in the first game. Your boy Lem, the game is seven years old, dude. This, that's that's really no excuse. I'm playing a game for the first time in seven years, even if it's a sequel. The game should at least tell me the basics of how to play it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, well, in the first game you did all this. The first game is seven years ago. What the fuck has changed in the world in seven years? <laughs> you know? Like, wow. A new windmill? Where? I don't see it. Where's the windmill? There? Is that one I need to take over? Can I take it over? It looks like I can. It's white. I guess if it's white, you could take it over. It's the red ones you can't, right? So if I wanted to do this windmill, I could. I'm going to be honest with you guys. If it weren't for... Oh, shit. Look what I just found. Seriously? Is this an inhibitor? I just found this out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, then. That was useful. And that was just a random thing I just walked into by accident. I didn't even mean to do that. Right? Wow. All right. Let's do this lighthouse. Or lighthouse. Wow. I said lighthouse. It's a fucking windmill. So if it's white, you can do it. If it's red, it means you're going to need more stamina and you can't do it yet. I guess that's what, what we're figuring out here, right? Okay. Get my stamina back. I'm going to climb this one. Shadow Vex is to quickly level up. You need the inhibitors. They quickly upgrade your health and stamina. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. Aha. Alright, cool. We did another lighthouse. Is this the third one now? I think this is the third one. And he says, you get them by raiding GRE quarantine buildings at night or finding inhibitors in GRE tents and convoys. All right. See if I can use these right now, these inhibitors that I found, right? People are still voting on the vest. Currently, denim is in the lead, which is exciting. I haven't worn a denim vest in a long time. Thank you, guys. We're in a UV section. This is considered UV section, right? My grandfather used to work as a miner in the quarries south of the old town. <laughs> Those tunnels are teeming with infected now. I can't believe you fixed the windmill. No one can't. managed to reach the top before. So here we are. It actually looks identical to the other windmill. Look, it actually is identical to the other windmill. It's even the same room. What? 
It's exactly the same safe room as the previous windmill. Okay. Anyway, what I was going to say was if it wasn't for you guys right now talking with me and helping me during this playthrough and say, oh, you got you could do this, you could do this. Seriously, I would not know half the shit. I would be super frustrated with this game right now if you guys weren't helping me out. I want you to understand that it is a tremendous advantage being an interactive streamer, having help from guys like you. Because if I, I seriously probably would hate this game if it weren't for you guys. So I'm happy that you guys are helping me. Thank you so much. Because a game like this, I might I might not have even gotten any enjoyment out of. Because they they're not explaining half the shit in the game. They never explained the commerce system. I didn't know that I was getting valuables that I could sell. I thought those were all crafting items, you know? Looks like we have a safe place to craft. Okay, so now... We were talking about inhibitors. Well, guess what? According to this, I need another one. See? I got two. I guess you need three inhibitors. And when you get three inhibitors, that's when you get an upgrade. So I need to find one more somewhere, right? <laughs> oh yeah Troma says every bus is identical you loot the same spots in every single bus wow how do I use the binoculars I forgot how to use them here they are focusing on my base I think it's already focusing on something we already know just because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor if you got no one to lean on that's when you know you hit rock bottom all right forget it I think we already did everything here so I think we're just gonna do the next story mission okay okay all right uh denim vest it is guys let's get the denim vest <laughs> yeah, I see people are saying it's like a copy and paste universe that the same locations, the same interiors, everything's reused a million times. So expect this moving forward. Okay, it's a little it's weird. It's weird to see things identical like that. Okay. Oh. Thank you guys very much for all your support today. I really appreciate it. Even I mean everything today has been good. The viewership's been good. Like every type of support has actually been good. <laughs> In every way. You guys liked the heck out of the stream, which gave it more engagement, which I appreciate. Uh, you know, super chats. We got some memberships today, tips exceeding the goal. I really appreciate all your support today, guys. Just so you know. About another 45 minutes on the stream, okay? I'm going a little bit later today. Jack G did another super chat saying, what's the best Assassin's Creed? Uh, personally, <clears throat> out of all of them, probably the uh, the uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and then Brotherhood, I like equally. The third one I didn't like as much, um, but I like those two the most. And then probably after that, it'd probably be like Assassin's Creed 4 or uh, Odyssey. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I've never believed. Um. All right. I guess we're gonna head towards the story. It's this way, right? Okay. Here we are. Let's see what he wants to do next in the story. Hakar. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. That's the Peacekeeper base? Okay. 
Guts, sorry you can't be here tonight. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow Skyrim, just so you know. Spawn Killer did a super chat. He says, I think the game's all right. I believe the first one is better. I've seen actually, I've seen that sentiment all over the internet overnight. Where people are playing this, they're like, man, you know, it's not bad, but kind of like the first one more. Which is funny, because the first one's seven years old, and people still like it more than the sequel. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright, so, what's next? What are we doing next for the Wait, plot? You brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you, the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then, you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We saw the we'll metro station together already. The central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls. Or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. <clears throat> Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night. It is night. Less infected in the tunnels. <laughs> it is night. What are you talking about? Get some sleep. Make it night, even though it's night. Sleep with these pumpkins. <laughs> sleep with the pumpkins. <clears throat> huh? Oh, there's a special infected out there. I got it. There's a creature uh, I haven't seen before. What does it look like? A zombie. Not a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. <clears throat> okay. What happened to the guy who owned this place? He's not here anymore. Oh, here's another tape. The city classifies egg hunting. Alright, where's our story mission? Below? Yes. Great. Oh, shit. Pick this, it's surrounded by zombies. Uh, oh my, look how many are coming now. This is just great. They're still not letting me do- I don't want to do that. They're not letting me do the drop move, see? I unlocked the drop move, it doesn't work. They're not letting me use it. I'm above the- directly above the enemy, there's no indication to use the drop move, so I can't ever use it. I basically wasted an upgrade point, it looks like. Or it's very circumstantial when you can use it. lockpick yet and I even did hard locks and I'm still not breaking them I wonder if like they assume you really suck at lockpicking but I've been I just played Fallout New Vegas and now I'm playing Skyrim so I'm so used to the lockpicking systems that I haven't broken anything yet <laughs> hello Zoya how you doing good to see you here today welcome I should heal again. Nope. The game really does remind me a lot of Metro, with the way that it's so dark and you the glowing shit. It definitely reminds me of Metro. Oh. 
I'm 44 meters away from the UV, so I have two minutes to try to get there. But I have to do stealth. Shrooms. Okay, I can use these right now, right? I guess I can use the immunity booster. Oh, that worked. Wow, the UV booster completely restores your UV. Oh, that's super duper useful. Okay. 100% restored. Glad I bought that shit. They're not gonna let me do this. The zombies have to attack me. Now I think I'm okay. Ugh. Lockpicking this game is way easy. Table leg and a bunch of crafting items. So, they want me to go through here, but you can't go through here. So maybe I gotta go around, like through here. Lockpick. I don't think this is the right way, but what's up, Kagome? How you doing today? Welcome. Maybe this is where you're supposed to go. Yeah, I was. You were supposed to lockpick. <laughs> oh, a lot of zombies. A lot of zombies to go through. This one saw me. <laughs> Zombies. Down there, skip those. How you doing? Don't get up. Don't get off your feet. Just stay nice and relaxed right there. Or shrooms. I have to equip them, don't I? Yeah, let's see. Because the shrooms are no longer equipped because I didn't have them before. So, here, instead of poison, I'll equip the shrooms. There we go. Shroomies. Delicious shrooms. Who doesn't eat delicious UV shrooms? Why are there no black zombies? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, they, maybe there are, but they decay, and so they don't have that same pigmentation in their skin anymore? I... You'd have to ask uh, Techland. Have there been any Asian zombies? I don't know. Maybe Techland are a bunch of racists. It's possible. I don't know much about them, actually. Perhaps they are. <laughs> I can't speak to that. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay. There's so many zombies down here. There's a ton. Look how many. It's like a whole fucking zombie civilization down here. Here, I'm gonna to eat some shrooms. This is what that's why the shrooms are here. So you can keep taking them to up your immunity level more and more. They're trying to freak me out. Just take more shrooms. Relax. There's nothing wrong with just popping shrooms constantly. Trust me, it's perfectly safe. You know, that's correct. There are many uh, black characters in the game so far. We've run into quite a few. So that's good. <laughs> Yeah, there is. It's good to have representation. Look at this guy. The Shambler. Party time! The Shamblin' Man. <laughs> now Troma says, yes, but everyone... But all the black people in the game sound white? Well, that's because Techland are a bunch of racists. That That's definitive evidence of it, then. Indisputable. Oh, shit. There's a zombie sitting right in front of a chest. Okay. Hello, Juan David Ortega. How you doing? Two for one. Two for one again. Beautiful. Let me lock with this quick before they come over here. There we go. Alright. Gloves. That guy was extra stinky, did you see? He was covered in like a funk. A disgusting funk. There's more shrooms. Thank God that conveniently the shrooms that protect you from becoming a zombie grow everywhere in the zombie apocalypse, right? It would probably be pretty concerning if they didn't. Uh, it's actually kind of weird. How would anyone ever become a zombie if the, the literally the cure to stop being a zombie is all over the place, right? Why don't you just keep eating the shrooms? <laughs> the game really does remind me of Metro, especially now. <laughs> Gotta go the long way. Around the zombies. Hack on. I got the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up when you get inside. A nailed stick. Should I... I was just gonna say, should I take an, a look at my items here? My pipe is still doing fine. It's way more damaging than most other stuff. Have I found anything else new that's good? Uh, no. Everything's about the same damage. A table leg is 19. Damage is slightly different. There's really not that big of a deal between any of the stuff that I'm finding. Um, how about new gear? Ooh. Whoa, look at that. A medic's cap. Unique headwear. Look at that. Cool. We found some gloves. They're good. Yeah, I'm getting some uh, good equipment now. I found shoes. I put those on for the first time. And now here we've got... Not as good. Okay. So I just equipped the best stuff. That hat was apparently really, really good. Give me a bunch of stat buffs, right? Okay. What's that? Oh, shit. Ew. Jeez. I can't. 
situation here. Back on. All right, fuck this. What was the big deal about that exactly? Why do you have to call Hack on? Just fucking deal with it like a man. Do it yourself. You have to call was your dad? You call him every 10 seconds about something? Just deal with it. Fucking lockpick that shit. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> what a wimp this main character is. Aiden, Aiden the bitch. Hack on. Help me, Hack on. Come on, Hack on. Oh. Do the gunner glasses improve or help while I play games? I've I've actually found they do reduce eye strain. Because remember I used to tell you guys I used to play and my oh my eyes burn. Actually since I wear these glasses, my eyes don't usually burn. Very rarely. So actually they do help. Okay. I would say this mission's been pretty good. This certainly is better than the side missions that I did. But of course, this is a story mission, so it's way more curated. Curated, I guess is the word for it, meaning it's more well-designed, more production values in the mission. More interesting stuff to do. Can't get in there. Rip it off! Very nice. I don't know, the, game's, the game is growing on me. As I get more abilities and things, I think I'll like it more. Pack out. I'm inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Active updated down there. Open the airlock. But it seems that there's a lot to loot here, right? Okay. Yeah, Simple Bubble, your sub hat expired. That's correct. No, I've never seen the Mandalorian saucy summer sausage. Never seen it. Oh, that's how you grab that. Are those guys still over here, or did they leave? I guess they left because they were there. I saw them through the vent, but now they're gone. I was going to kill them. Take all their shit, but they're gone now. <clears throat> Kivo says, I used to get that eye burn too if I play games too late at night after working all day. I would use an eye drop. Eye drops work very good. I love eye drops. They're, you know, great lubrication for the eye. There's different ones that feel different, soothe different ways. I I used to use eye drops a lot uh, when I used to stay up ultra, ultra, ultra late back in the day, which is, of course, not healthy, but I did. Nevertheless, because I was stupid. tent. Nothing. <laughs> A tent with absolutely nothing of value inside. How nice. Alright, here we go. Damn. Hey, what are you doing here? Great. Get yourself knocked the fuck out, you stupid idiot. Wow. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. What are they Australian? They sound Australian. <laughs> Oi! You sound like a renegade! Oi! <laughs> He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's going to be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. 
How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing no. four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said... Lucas is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've All read right. the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. I'm being told they're Londoners. And people in London would sound like this. Okay. <clears throat> he wants to buy your friendship, I bet. He feels a newcomer can Where did you come be a, from? an asset. From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? Conversation time. Uh... These are- I think these are optional. While the yellow is mandatory to progress a conversation. But you notice sometimes there's two different yellows, and I think those are the choice points. So these are superfluous dialogue, while well, this is to advance the game, but if there's more than one yellow, you gotta be careful about what you pick, I think. All right. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter. I came here because I'm looking for someone, and a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone. Hmm. Maybe I can help you, but not for free. Exactly. He wants you I'm to used do to stuff for him. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer, Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar, horribly mutilated. Ooh. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. The Lazarus this knuckles? This is the key to finding the killer. <laughs> if you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me. And I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot. And we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. Hmm. Okay. I'll try. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. So he won't help you. You'll be the first but one through. He wants you to help him. Is done. <laughs> Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around, ask people, and don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. Moxria says, how do the graphics look? Is the resolution bothering me? Not at all. I think the graphics are one of the best parts of the game, actually. It's at this performance mode on Xbox Series X. It's running at 60 frames, and uh, I have no complaints about that. Here's people to talk to. A carrier. So is this the Peacekeeper base? I guess. We're in the Peacekeeper base. Anything over here? No, there's a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of stalls. Talk to these guys. I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. 
I'm one of many. We put if things up, so we put them down. I haven't we carry. seen a uniform before. We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. Mm. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be mm. authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, huh. cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Freaky? Damn. We can insult them. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Camera was fighting me there. So all these guys who are yeah, colored God. green can give you yeah. supplementary story, I think. Hey buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah? I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. Anyone else I could talk to? Yeah. I need these guys who are green, I guess, have optional conversations. Hey, Where could I get some food? In the canteen. We have a canteen and a hospital at our base. Like in the army. Not like in the army. This <laughs> is the army. We're bringing order to this fucking chaos. And who are you? No one or a pilgrim. We'll say I'm a pilgrim. I'm a courier. I travel between the zones. Pilgrim? You got it. It takes balls to wander off-road like that. See? Now he likes me. That was definitely worth it. Nothing here. Yesterday I had a good day. There's a guy. What's he got in his hand? He's got a fucking healing potion from Skyrim in his hand. Look. Do you have alcohol? If you're lucky, like me. Found <laughs> this bottle in a basement while on patrol. Hey, so you got patrols covering the whole area? Someone's got to do it. City's got us to thank that it's even still standing. What, you want to join us? I'm not sure. What would I need to do? Complete the training. Hard as fuck. Not everyone can hack it. Don't need weak links, you know? So, eventually, I'm, I'm going to assume you we can join these guilds, because there's this and the Renegades. And I, I guess eventually you can join one. I don't know what the benefits would be. By the way, don't say nothing. Just steal their shit, alright? It's there, take it. Fuck them. They fucked with you, now fuck with them. Citizen, up. you can't linger here. If you need help, check in with a dispatcher. He said you can't linger here. Fuck you, I'll take what I want. He's trying to tell me not to steal, but fuck that. Lantern. Steal their money. Take it from the ATMs. There you go. Take all their shit. So this will take me back down to the metro tunnel. Which obviously I don't want to do. We just came from there. Okay. You must help us. Otherwise, there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Ah. Then why won't you let us search your homes, huh? If everyone is so innocent, then there'd be nothing to hide. Keep your brutes away from our homes, Anderson. So, there you go. Both the people at the bazaar and the peacekeepers are at odds. By the way, are you kidding me? They did it again. Look at this. It's the same fucking person. Standing right fucking next to each other. The same fucking person. The same tattoos. Oh, come on. What is it with these games? Why don't they do this? The same person. Oh. We need the juice to turn on the UVs. Get on top and activate the window, will ya? All right. They want me to get out of here. 
They're not twins. They have the same fucking tattoo. It's the same character model reused, standing next to each other. Ultimate lazy fucking mode. Okay. On, tell me all about it. Here we go. So, what did they want from you? Homefront the Revolution vibes all over again, although this game is better than that. Much better than that. Aitor asked me to help him. Aitor said he might let me through to the center. Aitor, whatever. If I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence. Full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbatos. Also known as Half-Ass Hubie. <laughs> Half -ass Every day Hubie. he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. So I finished that story mission. Do I get any reward for it? No. Seriously. I, 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 you're going to tell me I got nothing. I still can't level up. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second here. I still can't level up. I've been playing this all day. I'm now six hours into the game. I have one level in each. They didn't even give me a reward for doing the mission. I got nothing. Oh my god, this game really takes its sweet fucking time. It's so stingy with giving experience points. I've never seen a game so stingy before. <laughs> this is the Ebenezer Scrooge of open world RPGs, this game. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, I know, I need inhibitors. I need everything. This is ridiculous. So, that's where we just came from. The faction hub, right? So this is where the story is. The only way out, unknown location. Yes, there is some reward stuff there. See? <clears throat> I guess that's just, just what we'll do next. It's already on the map, right? I guess we'll just head right over there. Dark Magus says, no wonder they said uh, the game takes 500 hours to beat. John of X says, XP is literally non-existent if you don't run in the night doing quests. Jesus. And they don't see the problem with that, apparently. They don't understand how that could be an issue. Hold on, man. Ah, fucked up. Easy. Oak windmill. Oh, the new windmill. So I guess we might as well do that. Right, it's white, which means we can complete it. Any, anything that's white means you can do it. It's doable. Can't climb that. Oh shit, there's a lot of zombies. Oh fuck, there's a ton of zombies. There's really no easy way to get over there. I guess you just gotta run through them. trying to find an easy way to climb. I don't see it. Maybe you have to go through the building, which would really suck because you don't want to go in buildings during the day. It's alright. Here we go. This is probably how you climb. Right here. Yep. Here we are. Now, let's take a look. There's the guy. I'm assuming we should probably turn on the windmill first, right?
Turn it on first and drop down. I guess we'll talk to the guy. Hubert? No, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You no know one will be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed <laughs> That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Yeah, nothing to do but wait, I guess. I mean, we could enable the windmill? No? We're not going to enable the windmill. Oh. We just sat there. Hey. You Hubert? You didn't even notice he, he was there? A customer. What? You want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Well, you're an asshole. Yeah, sure. Yeah, now I gotta track him down. Hack on. He's running away. Nah, sounds like Hubie. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. I was running to the northeast. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I guess I gotta catch him. So I gotta come back to do this later. Son of a bitch. What's with the music? Super epic music now. Okay, I guess we gotta catch him. Grab that? You couldn't grab that. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wow. <sighs> so how do I climb this? This way. Ah, oh, damn. Lost him. But he's got to be on that rooftop, Aiden. Find him. Okay, here we go. What the fuck? Seriously, this dude, this is so annoying. Fuck this. What the fuck this? Why is this game like this? Fucking annoying. Hubert! Leave me alone. I ain't done anything. There he is. Punch him is fucking nuts. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear. I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way. A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even <sighs> if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. 
I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. How do you know about Lazarus? That Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles? Hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. <laughs> Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Okay. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there. The army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlooked them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. Well, I think the last thing that I'll probably do today will be to do that windmill that we skipped. So that way I have an another safe area in this area. I think that would be smart. And then once you're at that windmill, what I can do is pull out my binoculars, right? And, uh... And look around and mark all the different air, uh, things in the area. Oh. I'm going to assume this will be full of monsters, right? You think so? Or is this just a special thing? Hi. Oh, I know why. There's a viral here. Or what do you call it? Not a viral, a... Uh... Oh, I can't move. I'm stuck. Couldn't even move. Attacking my ass. No, I what is he doing? He's, I don't want to go down. <laughs> Yo. Wow. Really fun. He went back down. Alright, so yeah, you gotta do those at night or else those superpower dudes are in there, right? Okay. So the good thing is this will be on my map now, right? I'll be able to come back here later. Or is it? Did it seriously not mark it on my map? It doesn't mark it. Oh wait, there it is. I'm assuming that's it. Yes, yeah, there's four in there. See that? Okay, so I gotta come back at night. That guy won't be there at night. They'll say that that's when he goes out, so then you can go in and do it. Can I do that? I can do a running jump onto that. I'm probably not gonna hit it. I'm gonna miss. Oh, here we go. There we are. Yeah, the, the climbing leaves something to be desired, Wolf's Paradox. The problem is there's a huge stamina mechanic in this game. And I'm only six hours in, and my stamina sucks. I've gotten only one stamina upgrade, and it was yesterday doing the tutorial. I played for three hours today and didn't get any upgrades. Basically, it has one of the slowest upgrade systems I've ever seen in an open-world RPG. So I guess that's why they're saying it takes so long to beat. Because you fucking never upgrade. <laughs> He's like, Jesus, it never, it never, ever gets an upgrade. Like, god damn. Okay. This isn't even the same lighthouse, is it? I think this is a different one. This is a completely different lighthouse than the one I was at earlier. Yep. This is a pretty easy one. I think I got a parkour point, finally. I think I just got one.
And you're right, there's no sprint button. It's just you're dashing infinitely. So the maple windmill complete. And now what I'll do to adjourn today's stream, okay, I will pull out the... How do you do this? No, that's not it. There it is. Pull out the binoculars and mark things off. There's the bazaar. Another a dark hollow down there. We're going to mark everything in this region. Everything that I can find. Another dark hollow. I'm finding a lot of dark hollows right now. That's the old Villador windmill. Is that? I don't know. It's setting on something that's already there. Oh, here we go. Military airdrop. Okay. That is a night runner hideout, safe zone. I'll go to the other side of it to look at there, but what else? Oh, okay, there's something here. Where? There it is. That is a another military airdrop way back there. Okay. Let's see. Where, where, where? We're here. Oh. There we go. Forsaken store. There's something else here. Okay. The Houndfield Electrical Station. Okay, let me try from this side. Try looking down there. Encounter failed. Oh darn. What are they talking about? <laughs> Downtown Electrical Station. Now we look off here. I don't know what those alarms are. I guess maybe that's it. What's weird is there was another lighthouse. There was the lighthouse I was at before the chase. And I never got it. But now I don't think it's on my map. Right? Let's take a look. Is that it right there? I think that might actually be it. Before I did the crazy chase. Oh no, I know. It's over here. That was it. I was at this oak windmill and I didn't do it. Because I chased the guy all the way across the map. So we were only here for like a minute. And now we're all the way back over here. And here's the story quest. Alright, last thing. Let's take a look at an upgrade. And this will adjourn our stream for today. So. Parkour upgrade. Right? All I can get is active landing. I can't actually get anything else because the other ones have an increased stamina requirement. So without actually finding these inhibitors, there's no way you can even do the upgrades. So I guess we're doing this. Active landing. When you land, hold B. And then you land and don't take any damage and you keep your momentum. Okay. That should help. That should be helpful. Alright. I guess that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, For our second major stream of Dying Light 2. Um, what I could say is definitely better than the first one. Seriously, definitely better than the first one. Um, first stream, that is, what I meant to say. 
because we're out of it, out of the uh, story, and we actually get to see some of the elements of the game. Admittedly, early on, you're so weak. You have almost no health. Your combat, you're, you're very weak. Even having a powerful weapon that I have right now, I'm weak as shit. Um, <clears throat> the parry seems shitty. It just does. It seems like it almost never works. And the timing is not like it is in a game where you press it at the right time. It's like you have to press it slightly early, which makes it difficult to do. Um, the dodge is useful. But basically, right now, the combat is hit, dodge, hit, dodge, hit, dodge, hit, dodge, hit, dodge. That's not fun. Just being honest. I think the combat sucks. The parkour is all right. But the stamina mechanic also is frustrating. Because half the time when I'm trying to climb something, I, I lose, run out of stamina. Um, I do feel like I said earlier today. I do feel like this game is a game that gets better the more you play it, because as I find these inhibitors, okay, and I get more stamina, more strength, I'll be able to unlock the better abilities. I bet the game's going to get way more fun. But I'm six hours in, guys. I'm six hours in, and I still feel like a weakling. Like, I don't have anything that I can really do. I'm, I'm, I'm just crappy right now. Um, I'm hoping after another major stream of this game, I will get some upgrades. In fact, I'm almost thinking maybe I should just take the time to do them. Like, like, Make it be nighttime, right? And then just go around to the the bases that I've located. Like right here, there's one. See? Dark hollow. Just go to these dark hollows at night and just try to grab... Here's one. This is a very important one. This one has four inhibitors. So if I go to this one, I'll be able to upgrade twice. Okay? So maybe that's what I should do. Just go around trying to grab these inhibitors because if I don't, I don't see how I'm going to make any progress in the game, right? It just doesn't seem like you can do much until you start getting these upgrades that they're they're basically mandatory to get. So maybe that's what I should do next time around. I think I'll, I'll go to nighttime, get these inhibitors, maybe come down here, do this this light uh, windmill. Look here, maybe there's another one here, right? Maybe I could do like two inhibitor raids, and then I can actually get some significant upgrades to make myself better, you know? So anyway, um... Thank you. Like I told you guys, this game I don't feel like is doing a very good job of explaining its mechanics. And if you guys weren't explaining to me today how to do certain things, I probably wouldn't have even figured it out. So thank you for that. Um, so I will play it again. Uh, coming up this week, this is actually going to be the main game that I'm balancing along with the other new release of the week coming up, Sifu. So you're going to see this every other day basically coming up this week. And let's hope for good progress and like think this game plan will work. I think the game plan of... Um, you know, going over here, getting these inhibitors, and then maybe going down here, getting this lighthouse, looking around, maybe getting more inhibitors, getting levels, and then making the story progression make sense. I thought for sure doing a story mission was going to benefit, and I did it, and I got, like, nothing for it. I was like, wow, I didn't level, level up. That's pretty crazy. And, guys, you were a great audience today, right? Crazy amounts of engagement. You guys talked to me the whole time. The likes on the stream were great. The contributions in every way were great. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm looking forward to another stream of this, and hopefully we can actually make some good progress in it next time. Okay? So, <clears throat> thanks very much for chilling with me here today, guys. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. Until next time, when hopefully we can get some upgrades. All right. Thanks. Awesome.